what's up everybody, my name is Trophinut and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're back at Firelink Shrine with my main squeeze, the Firekeeper. And we're gonna level up quickly. And I think we're gonna put another point in intelligence. Since we've been uh, using our spells really nicely. Since that actually worked pretty well against that stray demon. Um... What else do we have? We found some more ashes, so so give her the Dream Chasers ash. What woeful umbral ash! Oh, that's different. This barren dust stuff of a fool won't yield aught. Excuse me. Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? Tell me for the sport. Um. Well, Saren oh, yes, Key. Into lofty dreams in this dying world, more's the pity. It must come from one most foolish indeed. Well, they were called Would dream chasers. <laughs> so we're not going to get anything from that. Okay, then nothing. Oh, they did. Some items were added. I don't think the blessing and the green blossom were here already. So what was she talking about? She even sells Titanet shards right now. Weird. Crescent axe. Composite bow. Composite short bow emphasizing power. Its size allows for quick shots. The more powerful than standard bows, it also requires more strength of the user. And its range is short. Rapid fire swiftly knock arrows with finesse after drawing the bow, allowing for consecutive shots. So that's 73. And a descaling, though. And this leather armor wasn't here as well, I think. And a few rings. Strange that she would say that that would yield nothing, although she does have Ashen a one. lot of extra oh. items. Weird. I'm gonna change up my setup a bit because uh, I'm not gonna use the sacred chime anymore because um, we we're at the point that we're pretty well stocked on uh, Estus so we might as well do without um, ah, might as well use me. a few of those titanite charts to further reinforce Estus balance yeah no, okay we do have to burn another bone shard that's that's right so reinforce. Um, we're using large Titanite shards already with the Fire Restore Straight Sword. Um, we haven't found more of that scales, those Titanite scales for the Hollow Slayer Sword. Um, they're looking at the scaling. I might as well be using that again. Uh, I might. Can't I upgrade? That stuff? Apparently not. Maybe that's. Oh, here we are. Yeah, this one. Um, so up that twice if I can. Okay, I can't. That's good for now. I can't upgrade the bow either. Just because I'm. Well, I'm out of souls and out of Titan Shards. So thank you, Andre, for the upgrade. <laughs> Uh, but I think if I equip... Am I over 70? Not yet, but probably if I equip the Hollow Slayer Sword, yeah, I'm way over 70. So I'm gonna go with the Fire Sword for now. Except if our next enemy is something way worse. So we did also send that Saint from Mira, here she uh, Mira, Kar Karim, to this place, so oh, hello. Welcome back. So she probably sells us miracles. I was not meant to be a firekeeper, but I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. Well, I'm glad for any help I you can give me. Now. Your wish is my command. Ooh, that sounds so double. Arena of Karim. So learn miracles. Let's see what she has. So heal. We already had that. Replenishment, caressing tears, cure ailments for self and vicinity, and homeward. So that's the same effect as the homeward bone. 
Uh, might as well go to the descriptions. Replenishment is a relic of the old Lloyd fate, whose cleric knights were unfaltering in battle. Caressing tears. Miracle taught by Morn, the Archbishop's Apostle. Cures bleeding, poison and frost for Salve and those in the vicinity. Caressing tears is a tale of the many deaths surrounding the goddess Keita, of whom Morn was a known follower. And homeward, in terms of cost to the last bonfire, it would normally link to one's homeland, only the curse of the undead has twisted its power, redirecting casters to the bonfire. Perhaps for undead, the bonfire serves as a home. Um, so not much for us. We can see what she's selling. Saint's Ring allows, allows, attun allows, allows attunement of additional spells. Well, that's handy. I'm gonna buy that. That probably adds another attunement slot without us needing to have a lot of attunement. You know, so let's talk. in my home of Karim, I was a nun. I knew it! I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. And I would be pleased to hear Although, them. to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tone, I could tell you many tales and more. Oh, only I cannot see. Oh, is she blind? Terribly oh. sorry. But you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. Okay. We probably can do that. You know, in my home of I would be more if I'm terrible. So I'm wondering if those miracles that have we can buy journey, are actually stories Ash. for her. I pray for your safety. Thank you, Arena. So another lovely member in our uh, lovely abode here. Uh, so the last thing we should do is burn that bone shard, so that we're uh, we still haven't killed or defeated any of those. Uh, well, how are they called? Champion, no. Lords of Cinder. That was it. So rest and then burn on that bone shard. And now we have an Estus Flask plus two. So. With all that done, I think we're pretty much set again on Firelink Shrine. So we're going to head back to uh, the Keep Ruins. We're going to leave the old wolf alone. We're going to head back to the Keep Ruins and try... You know what? I think the since we saw that from up top, that the tower was actually closer to the first bonfire in Firelink Keep. So let's head there to uh, snuff out that last flame. So back at Farron Keep, um, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm not because I can see the fire over there, it's on the right. Um, so let's start heading in that direction I suppose. There's another one of those giants over there. So I'm probably going to get poisoned. Ooh, there's another item here. Purple Moss Clump might actually come in handy. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to avoid getting poisoned. So I'm not even gonna try. Ooh, this is a lot thicker. Iron Flash. We already found Lightning Spear as well, but I think Iron Flash is a pyromancy. If it's still the same from the uh, previous games. Oh, crap. Nobody then knows Dark Souls likes those guys. And it looks like it has seen me, but I'm not going in that direction anytime soon. Those are Basilisk and they can uh, curse you, and in Dark Souls 1 getting cursed actually meant that you would lose half your health bar permanently until you uh, found the cure for the ailment. Oh god, what the hell is that? Can I get up here? Yeah, I can. Okay. So that thing is not yet coming after me. And we're straight at the flame here. What's the catch? Okay. Well, let's do it. There we go. Third one down. 
and that means this swamp is a little less lit up and even more dark than it was before. Did it always switch from day to night? I haven't really been paying attention to that. Okay. We have access to the bonfire close to that, so I might as well uh, warp over there. Okay. That looks ominous with all the swords and the candles. Probably a place where I'm gonna die a lot. But there's also an item over here. Anyone who wants to attack me? No. Another homeward bone. Would be handy. Those things look terrifying. Uh, well, now that I'm still poisoned, I might as well take advantage of that and uh, run through the swamp again. This kind of looked like one of the bosses from Bloodborne. Hi. Um, do, do you mind? Oh. No, 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 no. Are you seriously only fighting me? Oh. Is it coming up? Yeah, it is. What the hell is that? Okay. Okay! That's not bad actually, but... Those are attacks you simply can't predict, can you? If you haven't met those guys that they can just explode. Well then. But as I said, I'm just gonna head to uh, that other bonfire. Gonna be easier than walking there. To keep uh, a bit of movement in this series. Oh god, that wasn't something I intended. So uh, I'm gonna quickly take the time to uh, read the description of Iron Flesh and Lightning Spear. So Iron Flesh, pyromancy that internalizes flame. Iron Flesh boosts damage absorption and resistance, but significantly increases weight. Not advisable for walking in marshlands, perhaps resulting in its obsol obsolescence in the Great Swamp. Yeah, that doesn't sound like... It's ironic that it was found in the swamp. But not really usable in the swamp. Um, so that's what we already did. I think I already read that. So, the lightning spear miracle allegedly used by the warriors of sunlight hurls a lightning spear. The spear inflicts lightning damage, providing an effective counter to magic or fire, especially powerful against metal armor and dragons. That's something to keep in mind. But uh, I'm also gonna pop an ember. Um, just I want to see if anything changes besides me uh, looking awesome. Because um, I think I'm gonna be heading into a boss fight. I'm hoping not, but uh, we just beat that crystal sage uh, two episodes ago. I think it's two episodes ago. Holy shit. So is this the actual keep then? Be wary of mob enemy. Oh, those guys. From the Road of Sacrifice. So might as well go up first and beat that thing into a pulp. Okay. So since I didn't, I went for that guy first, it's probably a good idea. And I always help those that help me, so uh, I'm gonna approve that message. That was a great tip. Good. Yes. Thank you, man. Really appreciate the heads up. Um, but there's probably a road on top as well. Did I see... I thought I saw an item a second ago. So this is nothing. 
We're still on the sides of the swamp, but I can see here the basilisks. Oh, another dark wraith. Um, first, want to get that item. Didn't I see an item? I thought I saw an item. I broke my ankles. Nothing over here. No. Well then. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's the item. Shriving stone. Shriving stone. Still don't know how to pronounce that. So that you can reset infusion on a certain weapon. Is there something else here? Oh. Well, there's a message over here. Okay, something died. Could this be a hidden path? No. It couldn't. Uh, I know items here as well, so... Uh, kind of useless area. Let's go battle another Dark Wraith. We won against the first one. Without that much trouble. Oh! There's two of those guys now. Yeah, well... I do like these guys doing the work for me. Um, so are the Dark Raids working for the Legion of Farron? Oh god. There is another building here. Um, hello. Oh, another bonfire. I um, might as well light it, but I don't think I'm gonna rest at it. Where the hell are we? There's nothing in the pots. Um. Hello, good sir. Are you friendly or not? Oh no, you're one of those swamp guys. Okay then. Okay. Oh, I kind of know where we are. Ooh, this is going to be annoying. How resistant to magic are you? Ooh, pretty resistant. Hi! There we go. Okay, not two Titanite skills. Oh, I'm gonna definitely level up my uh. No attacking ahead. Well, yeah, attacking ahead. So this is the other side of great magic weapon. Yeah, there we go. So this leads back to the road of sacrifices, the beginning of... Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, shite. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. No, 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 no. God damn it. You're dead, right? Yeah, okay. So we again got a, a lot of souls from that crystal lizard. There's a few, a few openings in here. But those lead back to the swamp. Although it looks like it's the only way to reach that item. Um, 
Is it worth the risk? I think it is. So let's rest. And then drop down and I can use a homeward bone if needs be. Wait, what? Can't touch bloodstain. Okay, never mind. So let's drop down. We're back at Farron Keep. We don't actually really know where we are. I do hope it's not the bit with the basilisks. Oh, it is. Of course it is. Of course it fucking is. Um. So there's a few items here. And that bas basilic basilisk looks like he has seen me. Atonement. Looks like another spell to me. Can these guys get up here? Wait, what? Hollow gem. There goes one. There goes another. There are lol in here. They don't seem to be able to hit me over here. And I know from experience that this part of the swamp is probably too deep to uh, properly go through. Oh, shite. So how many are there? That's one. out of the way oh <laughs> okay that was hilarious to watch um, we're not cursed and I think in Dark Souls 3 I think what I've read is that you die when you get cursed you just simply plain old die heal over I'm not gonna use any more synonyms for uh, dying Hair powder. I am gonna read the descriptions of everything we found so far. What the hell is that? That doesn't look like any ordinary item. Is that an alluring skull? Oh wow! Saint Ed. Golden scroll. Oh, okay. Let's open this up. Why am I poisoned all of a sudden? An antiquated dress, gloves, and whatever that last thing was before I dismissed it. So let's take a bit of time to check out what we found. First thing that we found was... Nothing here, I think. We found... Uh, there's no ball. Lightnite scales, crystal gem, we found that. Hollow gem, that was it. A gem inf of infused titanite, a stone plentiful in Londor, land of hollows. Okay. Used an infusion to create hollow weapons. Hollow weapons are set to peer into the essence of its wielder, whose luck boosts attack. Okay then. A bit of a weird type of infusion. Maybe an attempt to make luck more useful. The Golden Scroll. A Golden Scroll chronicling... chronicling the vast research of Xanthus scholars. Give to a sorcerer to learn the arts of Ulusil. In the lost land of Ulusil, the sorceries orchestrated light and were set to shine in golden hues. So that's something we can give to uh, the sorcerer we freed from, uh, well, that side building where we also fought the crystal sage. And then atonement? Miracle given to those cast out from the Sable Church of Londor. Attracts more attention from foes. This is the only tale known by the exiles who believe it carries words of forgiveness. Cursed journeys too must ultimately come to an end. 
and then a great magic weapon. So sorcery which improves upon magic weapon greatly reinforces right weapon with magic. Only sorcerer swordsmen with special duties are permitted to use the use of this spell. The azure blade is set to cut down heavily armored knights with ease. So that's something we can add to our uh, spell array. Because I have forgotten to uh, remove the healing miracle. Because we're not using that anymore. I'm kind of confused at where we are right now. Oh, great! Oh, hi! This is an NPC, right? Well, um, I think it's an NPC. I don't think the player would do that. Nope. I, does he only have ranged attacks? Well, you kind of missed me there, buddy. Because I kind of can do that too. Let's heal up in the meantime. No, you don't. Yes, I'm poisoned. Oh no. Dark spirit destroyed. Hazel pick and the Xanthus crown. Oh, the Xanthus crown is something cool. That's that large bag he was carrying on his head. So our first successful defeat of a dark spirit. Um, how long will this poison last? I think I can read the description really quickly. So we got the hazel pick. There we go. Choice weapon of yellow finger hazel, a finger of rosaria and xanthus color. That's the first time we heard fingers. This is both a weapon and a sorcery staff. The gold specks are remnants of lost sorceries. Steady chant for a short moment boosts the strength of the sorceries. Now quickly gonna check if I need to heal. Doesn't look like it. And then the other thing was a headwear, I think. Yeah, this monstrous thing. Crown supposedly made an imitation of a divine creature of Urasil, land of ancient golden sorceries. Xanthus clothing is the mark of a researcher of lost sorceries and the oversized crown is emblematic of their work. Such a curious pursuit is surely nothing to be ashamed of. So the um, divine creature of Ulusil they're talking about is probably one of the bosses from Demon Souls actually, um, who had that same yellow wrap around his head. Um, there is a staircase over here and it must not have been here. Because I never fought those basilisks. That's something I want to do again. Let's heal up. And I see a few messages over here, so I might as well go there. Now that I'm poisoned. Treasure ahead. That sounds great. But I do have 15,000 souls, so I hope they don't fuck me over. Yeah, treasure ahead. Nothing behind me. Large soul of an aimless soldier. Okay. That's indeed treasure ahead, but I don't know if it's worth all the hassle. Uh, might as well go up here. I don't think I have been here. Holy shit! Ah, oh, come on! Well, fuck off! Jesus! 
Jesus Christ! Okay. Um, I'm really starting to think about using a... Oh. So this is where we are. Where that large thing bashed my head in. Thank you. And now, I'm going to use a homeward bone. I'm not walking around with, uh, what was it, 16,000 souls? And let's go to the shrine bonfire immediately. Yes, thank you. Oh, um, hello. You're awfully active. Hello again. I have since heard a great deal about you. Uh, you have? For one that you are most gentle of heart. I am. I too am bound by duty, but can offer you my sign. She actually is wearing armor. I hear that cordial intrusion lays the path to embers. If I can be of help, by all means, do call upon me. Oh, that's cool. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Thank you. Dark moon loyalty. Okay. Well, that's that. I'm first gonna level up, although... I do have 16,000 souls. That's pretty close to the 20,000 we need for that key she's selling. So I might as well try that out. So use the fading souls. Just to fill up a few gaps. And then I might... I think I'm gonna have to use all of those. There we go. 20,500. Give me that key. Key to the dilapidated tower behind the shrine. Ashen one. Hmm. So, does that have a fancy description? The bell tower is the grave of firekeeper's past. When a firekeeper has served their, her purpose, she is led to true darkness where she enjoys a long deserved sleep. So that's an area we can go to. We also found this uh, scroll, and I think I can give that to this guy over here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hello, Gitsa. Again, I see. I suppose this means you're after sorceries. Well, I can actually help you. Oh my. Well, this is very unusual. It's from Ulysseel, an ancient land of golden sorceries. Not even the Dragon School possesses such a long-lost scroll. Oh yeah, I'm awesome. What would the Xanthus scholars say with their ridiculous headwear? Yeah, <laughs> they would simply I've been attacked by a one. Fine. <laughs> so, wow. Okay, holy shit. Sorry for the cursing, but... Pestilent Mercury. Release Mercury that eats away at HP. Highly dangerous sorcery employed by Dragon School spooks, only told to entrusted members. Releases mercury that eats away at HP, aware as the caster is not immune to its effect. A body caught in the silent mercury cloud lies still while the face twists in a tortured scream. The names of these learned sorcerers became feared for this gruesome spectacle. Cast lights. A uh, land of gold sorceries casts a light to illuminate surroundings. This light producing magic is elementary, but nonetheless demonstrates the pure nature of golden sorceries, the likes of which have not been developed even at the Dragon School. Repair! Includes weapons with ex exhausted durability. While the effects of this spell are rather subtle, its foundations are a well guarded secret. Light is time, and the reversal of its effects is a forbidden art. Uh, turns right weapon invisible. The weapon itself undergoes no inherent changes. Effective use of this, like any tool, perhaps is reliant upon the ingenuity of its caster. So that does allow you to use a weapon that the your PvP opponent does not know which weapon you're using. Hidden body turns body nigh on invisible. Although perfect invisibility is unachievable due to the high risk of dissipation. The caster need only stand still for a moment to blend into the environs with astounding camouflage. In the last one, Twisted Wall of Light distorts light in order to deflect magic. A closely guarded light manipulation spell that contorts the very fabric of fundamental laws, negating magic by denying its claim to physicality. So all 
well, utility spells, I would say. Interesting nonetheless, though. Might be able to use that later on. Um, last thing I'm going to do is attune my spells correctly, since I forgot that the last time around. Attune, and let's give me that great magic weapon for now. Thank you. I'm also going to talk to uh, this guy. Yes, since we now opened that door to the wolf's Gaining blood. Admission to the yeah. It's still the same. It's still the same. Okay. Well, uh, I think that's enough excitement for one episode. So I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to like this video right here on YouTube. And if you haven't done it already, give it a thought to uh, subscribe to my channel using that fancy red button below this video. That one that says subscribe. Um, but anyways, thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye!